How do? My name is Andrew Hancock and I am a VMware technical architect from Yorkshire in the United Kingdom. I have worked with VMware since their birth in 1998. So that's been a quarter of a century now. I've been working with the VMware product catalog. Some of my close friends say, if you cut Andy in half, it reads VMware like a stick of rock from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. I have now written over 130 articles and recorded over 30 hours of VMware vSphere 7 and 8 videos for Experts Exchange and received 40 Expert Exchange awards over the last 11 years working with the Expert Exchange community. I am currently the overall number one point earner in the Hall of Fame. I am honoured to have been accepted into the VMware vExpert program since 2011 and I'm currently a VMware vExpert Pro for the last four years. And welcome back to another episode of Hancock's VMware Half Hour. But I promise you that tonight is going to be much less than 30 minutes. And we're going to try and condense this into a little shorty for you of about five to 10 minutes. What are we going to talk about this evening? Now, I did promise you that we were going to do um, backup and recovery um, using a backup product. But I just put that on hold for the moment because I actually basically wanted to go off and branch and look at two network management products in the next couple of videos. But prerequisite to looking at those network management products is enabling something called SNMP. Well, SNMP, um, which stands for Simple Network Management Protocol, and you can go away and Google that and you can have a little look on Wiki. But I remember using this and I've been using this since the since like the beginning of time. Um, certainly, I remember very vividly uh, back in the early 90s. Um, one of the organizations that was working at was lucky enough to purchase something called HP OpenView. And somewhere in there, there's network and somewhere in there, there's node and there's somewhere in there, there's manager, I think. So it could be N. MV no network node manager and I don't know it was HP OpenView and it was a very expensive um, workstation um, that ran on Sun Solaris but what it actually did was that it actually mapped the organization's network and the reason why it touched me uh, was because at the time um, it became one of the requirements for me to go around and enable SNMP on all our servers and all our workstations so my understanding is is that any ip device today which can be managed you can configure an snmp agent on it that device that ip device can then be pulled by a software management platform now there have been various incantations or versions um, of SNMP over the years. I think version one, version two, and then maybe there was two C, and then there's version three. Um, some consider it to be a very old and outdated product. Um, I believe Microsoft may not even have version three support today, even in a product like Server 2022. So the highest that they've gone is version 2 or 2c. Um, version 3 brings encryption and a far better mechanism um, of being able to reach out to clients and I'll show you that um, in, in this particular video. Well we're going to configure our ESXi hosts in the lab here, our, our two ProLiant microservers. We're going to configure both of those for SNMP version 3 and um, I'm going to configure our EE Lab DC1 and EE Lab DC2, which are our Windows servers, our Windows Server 2022, with SNMP2, because out of the box, that's all that they will support. I do understand that there are some third party packages that you can install uh, on Windows that will give you SNMP v3. Uh, Linux, Unix, um, by default. Um, will actually basically give you um, SNMP v3. And v3 it, today really offers, as I said, encryption um, and a better mechanism or a better security uh, wrapped around SNMP than basically using SNMP1 or SNMP2, which is just a password. 
So here you actually basically find me again at the uh, vCenter server uh, pane of glass. We're not really going to do much with this, really, to be honest with you. Uh, but I just wanted to show you that this is obviously something that I'm using fairly regularly. But what we are going to do, um, I'm going to have a little look. And they may actually notice here that we are basically on uh, Windows 11 desktop. Um, I thought that it was about time. I don't particularly like the interface. But anyway, let's not digress debating about Windows 11 and Windows 10 and Windows XP and Vista, and which is your favourite, uh, which was Windows 2000 Professional, by the way. Uh, OK, so we want to configure um, SNMP on our ESXi servers, ESXi001 and ESXi002. And I'm going to use the, um, I could, if I wanted to, um, log on direct to the console of these particular servers. Uh, using IDRAC or ILO, um, or I could actually basically use as an SSH connection, um, and I could actually run the ESX CLI commands to configure SNMP. This is how we configure SNMP on an ESXi server. We have to use the ESX CLI command, or we could use PowerShell. Um, so I'm actually basically uh, going to run ES, ESX CLI. You may have actually seen me run ESX CLI on Windows before. I'm now basically running it on uh, Linux, which is actually basically running in WSL2 on, on Windows 11. But basically it's a Linux virtual machine. And I'm going to run um, the SNMP configurations um, here. Uh, and this is the script that I'm using. Uh, and I'll paste this script and the commands to use um, in the description so you can see what commands I'm actually basically using here. Um, and we're again, we're just basically sending a root and password system SNMP set. And then we're setting the community, uh, which happens to be Cyrus. Uh, we're setting a target, uh, which is where SNMP traps will be sent to. So this will be our management station. Um, I'm setting it system location cyrus hq ee lab system contact my email address i'm then enabling snmp um, then i'm setting some firewall rules so i'm basically actually saying only listen to devices on this particular network and you can actually specify an ip address if you want to tighten up security again uh, like many years ago uh, cisco did actually uh, publish that you can actually get denial of service attacks against SNMP listing. Um, so just tightening up security again. Uh, we're just basically then enabling the rule set. We're setting the SSH, we're setting the encryption here. We're setting the authentication passwords here, password one and password two. Um, and then we're doing exactly the same thing for our second server ESXi002. So, I'm just going to run that command like you do really if you've got lots of servers and you do really want to script this type of thing because otherwise if you're going to be running all these commands one after another and those are the those are the um, SSL certificate thumbprints as well so I'm just going to basically run that script and hopefully um, that's going to complete on both those servers. Now, just to decide, if you have a free version of ESXi, I, you do not have a licensed version of ESXi, I'm afraid um, you will not be able to uh, monitor or set SNMP um, on those devices. OK, so. OK. So I'm looking here, it turns around and tells me that invalid operation request it cannot enable disable this rule set is owned by system service. Um, IP already in the list, it's probably because I'd probably sent this before. Um, so that's why that's there. OK, so that's our ESXi servers done. We, we finished and set SNMP on those particular servers. Um, and I'll come back. Well, I'm going to do the Windows ones via PowerShell. Uh, and it will come back and we'll actually test them with a product called SNMP Walk. Now, we're doing all this now um, so that when we actually basically look at our SNMP 
SNMP monitoring tools, we know that SNMP is already configured correctly. So Windows PowerShell. Now I really do need to put a source for where I've lifted this script from. I've been using this script for a very, very long time. It's just one of those in the, in the toolbox. Um, so again, um, we want to manage um, SNMP from these particular IP addresses in the lab here. Uh, our read-only community is going to be ee-lab. Our read-only community is going to be Questnel. Uh, N system location, Cyrus HQ, ee lab. Sys contact me, read only trap, RO Cyrus HQ, read write, etc. So we do a little bit of magic here again. I'm all about speed. I don't want it to have to repeat the same configuration over and over again. So here I'm actually using remote PowerShell um, against our two servers, EE lab DC1. Um, and EE lab dash. I've just I've just noticed an error here. Uh, okay, so I actually want to run the same script SNMP PS1, which I've showed you previously, and I want to invoke that script remotely against both servers EE lab dash DC1 and EE lab dash DC2. And I'm going to hit enter and hopefully okay so it's telling me that there's an error that SNMP is already installed that's fine um, but it has actually set the SNMP service location sys location sys contact etc the less that's good it's obviously now doing the installation on ee lab dc2 and it will obviously repeat. It'll obviously repeat exactly the same configuration. And then we can actually quickly uh, go back to our Ubuntu Linux virtual machine running in WSL2. And we can use the SNMP walk command uh, to check the SNMP is listening correctly. So now that we've actually installed SNMP on our ESXi host, we can test. This is the fun bit. Uh, so we use SNMP walk, uh, and I'll put the syntax for the SNMP walk in the description because it has to be correct. Um, so we use SNMP uh, walk, uh, which walks the SNMP service and looks at the individual MIBs um, on the server. So it actually basically walks through the capabilities of the agent on the server. So v3-u adaph, because that's my user that I've actually set up on our ESXi server for SNMP v3. It's a v3 function. Um, using SHA encryption and the password I set was password one and password two, followed by the IP address of our host, or it could be FQDM, followed by enter. And if you get a lot of scrolling stuff up the screen like that, then SNMP has been configured correctly. Remember those credentials, because that's what we're gonna to use to plug into our network management software, which will do exactly the same thing, but it will graph the information that it's able basically to grab from the agent. And why do we use SNMP? To basically manage our environment and observe our servers and look at their uptime. So we don't have to basically keep looking at our servers on our LAN. If we're using a management station that's reaching out and polling all those SNMP agents and bringing all into that data to a single pane of glass. So our Windows server, our ESXi, sorry, our Windows 2022 server, uh, which is running Active Directory and DNS and DHCP in our lab. So again, we use exactly the same commands. We use SNMP walk, but this time we actually basically tell it that it's a version 2C, followed by dash C for community. And remember in our script, we were using the community name EE-lab, again, followed by 
its IP address. Now you can see here that the only thing that's actually basically stopping us uh, from looking at our server via SNMP is the community name EE Lab. Now you may remember that we did actually basically wrap around some security around it so only this IP address in the lab can actually basically talk SNMP to it, which I'd highly recommend. But this is also the read only community string so that we can only read, own, we can only read values from the server. We can't write values to the server. And you may notice that I actually basically set a write value as well so that we can actually write values to the server. So again, ee-lab. And again, we'd expect exactly the same thing. If I hit enter, we're gonna get a lot of scrolling stuff up the screen. There's an awful lot more parameters available for Windows there, but there you go. So we've SNMP walked both an ESXi host and both a Windows 2020 to server and both are performing correctly. So we're now ready to move on to our next video um, where we're going to look at, um, going to do two more videos in this particular series and we're going to look at a commercial piece of software and we're going to look at a community piece of software that do roughly the same thing. So I told you that this one was going to be a shorty. Uh, so again, thanks very much for, for watching this, this little dive into SNMP, the Simple Network Management Protocol uh, for ESXi. And we've had a little delve into basically setting it for Windows Server 2003 as well. So again, once again, thanks very much for watching and come back soon. Bye bye.